Hi guys, it's Lauren Daisy. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a, another instalment. It's been, I think, well over a year. Um, we're going to do another Riverdale Rambles. I just watched the most recent episode. Um, so the one that just aired was um, season six, episode 16. I mean, a bit about this episode, but kind of just season six in general. Um, we're just gonna chat go through it while I'm doing my makeup. I just did my moisturizer So that was the soap and glory beauty sleep accelerator. I'm gonna use the um, Essence fresh and fit foundation. Um, I think mine's in the shade. Yeah fresh ivory number 10 and then um, This is also an essence beauty sponge as well. Look, I love Riverdale. I, I'm not even ashamed Do you know what? I'm not even ashamed. I love that show I've been watching it since it first like the first episode aired since like the very beginning um i'm invested is it good no <laughs> no it's not but i could admit that like i just enjoy it for like the characters and the actors now um but some of the storylines oh my god similar thing happened to me with pll actually there is something about a time jump that for me i don't know what it is i just it isn't as good for me after that and I, like I said about PLS, one of my favourite shows, like if not my favourite show of all time. But after the time jump, I just feel like it just, there's just a decline in quality, especially in terms of the stories. And I feel like that again has happened on Riverdale. I feel like I haven't, the stories have just been a bit, not only lackluster, but just a bit like, it's just a bit too much now like it's just ridiculous and i feel like it's kind of a meme like i don't know if maybe even the writers are like playing into this meme of like riverdale is ridiculous but when you just think about like the early seasons where it was like oh my god like who murdered jason blossom like the love triangle kind of thing between veronica and betty and archie like that proper like high school drama like to now with the fucking they're practically the Avengers, <laughs> like, so I feel like I don't really, I just don't really vibe with that supernatural stuff so much. Um, I do enjoy it, um, like I enjoy Marvel movies, um, and I enjoy, you know, more supernatural based things, more occult based things, um, but not when that's not what I signed up for. <laughs> does that make sense? Like, does anyone feel the same way? Like, because obviously there was Sabrina. Um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Is that what it... I know that's what it used to be called, like, when it was Melissa Hart. But I don't know if that... Oh, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. That's what it's, like, called, like, the new one. Um, and so... I, and obviously that is set in the same universe as Riverdale. So it's no like shock that obviously there is magic and things um, in the Riverdale universe. I just feel like for me, like if that's the kind of thing I was looking for, I would watch Sabrina. And I know it got cancelled, but like if this is your way of trying to like make up for that, it doesn't really make any sense because I think a lot of people like obviously watch Sabrina because they enjoyed the characters in it. Like if you were going to bring them into Riverdale, that's a bit of a different story. But you're not. You're just bringing the magic and those spooky things from Sabrina into Riverdale with no kind of like connection between the two other than the fact that they're just set in the same universe and we saw Sabrina one time. <laughs> For me, it's just not my thing. I don't really gel with it. Um, so I have been enjoying it less as a kind of result of that. Um, and I think the annoying thing as well is now that they've kind of brought it in, I don't really see how they can, like, get rid of it and, like, go back to how it used to be. Um, because I just don't know how that would, like, work. I don't know. I want to know people's, like, opinions on the whole supernatural thing. Like, were you excited when they kind of brought all that stuff in or were you the same of, like, look, just kind of leave it out? That's how I feel about Pretty Little Lies and Ravenswood. So in Pretty Little Lies, they had this thing called a i can't remember what it's called it's like when they put a new pilot for a show into a show that already exists kind of like introduces you to a new show through the current show whatever that's called some a pilot something um and they did that with ravenswood so they brought all this kind of like spooky kind of supernatural vibe into pre Little liars in order to introduce ravenswood and then they like the spin-off happened and whatever but they didn't 
keep it in Pretty Little Liars, which I think is the mistake that like Riverdale has made. Like with Pretty Little Liars, you watch it and you're like, oh god, is this gonna be like a thing? But then it's not. Like it's literally just that separate show, and then the character who went comes back, and that's it. Like there is no bringing it in to Pretty Little Liars, which I think is kind of that mistake Riverdale made, which was they had the spin-off and then instead of it just staying in the spin-off, they've now brought it into the main show, which for me, yeah, like I said, just isn't really what I was watching it for. I am invested still, like fucking against my will. But I am invested and obviously I am gonna watch it to the end because I've put um a lot of I put a lot of time and effort into this show. It's been like this final season just coming up will be seven seasons, so like seven years. Um, eight years, something like that. So it's a long old time, um, and I am I am invested, and I will watch it till the end. So let's kind of just go through all the characters, kind of what they've been up to individually throughout these seasons, and how I feel about them and the couples and like all that kind of stuff. So starting off with Archie, um, I just I feel like Archie is honestly like. Not to keep comparing it to Pretty Little Lies, but like Riverdale, this looks like I've been sunburned, but I promise in person it doesn't look like this. Um, Riverdale's Caleb Rivers, and I will explain what I mean by that. Any time in Pretty Little Lies where they needed like something technical doing or like an just like a kind of like technical plot hole, um, they would just bring Caleb in. And be like, oh, he's a tech guy. Like, he just knows how to hack into security cameras. And he just knows how to track a car and, like, all that kind of stuff. And I feel like Riverdale does that exact same thing with Archie. Except it's just with fucking everything. <laughs> like, absolutely everything. And there is nothing, apparently, that this man cannot do. He does construction, boxing, singing, not so much anymore. Um... Uh, the town council, I think he was as well. He's an army soldier, an ex-army soldier. Um, I just, oh my god. I, I feel like there's more that I'm, like, forgetting. And now he's, like, a fucking superhero. Any time in the show, they're like, oh, shit, this needs doing. Archie's like, I'll beat them up. I'll build it. I'll move pops. Like, I'll deconstruct it and move it. I'll have a boxing match. I'll, like just anything <laughs> literally anything they're like just oh that makes sense for archie like he can just like he can just do that and that just solves that fuck it like that huge plot hole of how we're gonna get this done oh archie will figure it out somehow and how does he have so much money as well like he's fully like funding riverdale oh and he's a teacher and he teaches the rotco or some kind of like the rotc some kind of like um army ish training thing i can't really remember but he does that as well like oh and he trains the football team i forgot about that he's the coach for the football team like good lord someone give this man a fucking break it's just getting a little bit boring <laughs> that it's like oh archie's like the savior of riverdale yeah i'm gonna do all the characters individually and then i'll talk about like the actual couples at the end we'll talk about betty next um betty has been my favorite character in Riverdale pretty much since the beginning um I've never everyone else I've kind of had like a bit of a moment where I've been like mm, do I like them don't I like them like oh they're annoying me at the minute but for me Betty's always been super consistent and I've always really liked her character I love her FBI get up um she's the only one I don't know if I'm just like biased because I love Betty's character and I love uh, Lily who plays her but I don't mind her, like, superpower too bad. Like, the fact that she can, like, see people's auras and, like, know if they're evil and whatever. Honestly, I loved the whole storyline about her, like, finding out new memories, unlocking memories of her dad and realising, like, that he was, like, trying to get her to be a killer. Like, I just thought that was so interesting because, for me, that was one of my favourite storylines. Like, The Black Hood was 10 out of 10 and that's the kind of stuff that i really like i'm going to talk more about like pickings and the villains and all that but i love those kinds of storylines and i feel like that's where like betty's character really thrives it's like with the serial killer stuff and with this like trash bag killer 
all that stuff I find so interesting and I feel like they don't focus on it enough. Like it's all about pickings and all this shit, but like, no, TBK is the true like good villain of this season and I wanna see like more of him and more of Betty in her like FBI. Also, I really like that um, the FBI, I think it's Agent Drake. Um, she seems really cool. Um, again, we've not seen too much of her, but I really like her character just from what we've seen kind of so far. So then next up, let's do Veronica. Um, I, I'll be honest with you, personally, I've kind of been done with Veronica for quite a while. Um, I found her boring for a long time. Um, but then, you know, I really liked her with Reggie. Um, I thought they were, a, I always thought they were a good couple. I think I even said that in my old Riverdale Rambles video that I loved, um, Reggie and Veronica together. I thought they just made such a good pair. Um, so I was really, like, annoyed when they finally, like, broke them up and was like, right, this is, like, it for good. Like, they're never going to get back together now. Um, because I just thought they matched each other really well and they just made more sense. But I'm going to talk about couples later ahead of myself this whole spider woman thing is like kind of cool um it's like one of the most interesting things to happen to veronica for like ages like that whole chad storyline was fucking dull as hell um hiram again just got dull after just season after season um so the spider woman thing it's actually kind of interesting um and i kind of like it because it brings in like it's like a little nod to Katie Keen as well because they did like a whole thing with like the slight like spider woman and I loved Katie Keen and I'll be doing a video on the fact that Katie Keen deserved better because that show was banging and it was so underrated I always loved the idea of Veronica you know she's got a casino where well, she had a rum company and all that stuff like um proper like independent you know running this shit kind of kind of vibes um but i feel like they never actually show any of that like it's just her like performing which i won't lie i do like the musical performances um but and that's kind of it like that and then like relationship drama like none of the actual interesting stuff about her like running these businesses and you know because i feel like that's kind of how they like market her character a bit is that, that she's like this you know like big like girl boss i think she's used that term before you know the main character energy and like all that kind of thing that's like her whole shtick i feel like we don't really see that that much i feel like we get like glimpses of it and that was the only thing i liked about her in new york was like we did get to see that a bit more um and like hiram kind of brought that out in her a bit more but i feel like lately that's kind of been lacking jughead his reading minds thing is kind of cool. Um, I feel like I literally was like, oh yeah, no, like I don't like the supernatural stuff. And then every single person, apart from like Archie, I've been like, well, this is kind of cool actually. Um, you know, when he's like look when he was looking through Betty's memories and like stuff like that. So that would be interesting if we were getting to see new stuff. I didn't really care for the fact that we were watching like old Betty and Jughead scenes. Um, but if he was like when he was seeing new memories and like stuff like that that was kind of cool and like a cool way to get like backstory on people I like the concept of it all being like comic books i thought was kind of cute as well but yeah other than that i mean i haven't to be honest with you i haven't really liked jughead's character since the time jump like he was all in his like drunk you know alcoholic writer in debt that whole thing i didn't care for any of that um and now it's just kind of like meh like for me i find tabitha way more interesting um and i love tabitha you know what let's just talk about tabitha right now i think tabitha is genuinely one of the best things to happen to riverdale in a long time i love her character i mean i love the actress as well um and i just think she's great i really do i love her character i think she brings a lot she's like interesting um and you know like her fighting for pops and all that kind of stuff i really like that um i don't find that it gets like boring or overdone or anything like that tony since she was introduced has been one of my absolute favorites um if not is she my favorite 
don't know she's definitely in my top three um always loved her always loved her character always thought she was one of the best on the show easy um so when you know vanessa morgan who plays her spoke out against like riverdale a bit and that you know she felt like her um character was underused um and you know there wasn't enough representation so then they actually like got themselves together and um you know brought tabitha in and also you know she gave tony more stories um and more screen time i was so happy because i loved her and i always was like what's happening with tony like where is she why isn't she here with everyone else um so i like that she is more of a main character now as far as storylines um i enjoyed them in the beginning um i think I like Tony and I would like her storyline except for the fact that I don't like Fangs. Um, Fangs to me, I used to really like him. I loved him and Kevin um, and him and Sweet Pea, like that dynamic. But like now, I just find him so annoying. I can't lie. You know what, let's just talk about Kevin as well. We'll talk about Kevin. I feel like it's kind of sad because like Kevin, I feel like every time, bless his soul, like, I know that he is kind of, you know, impressionable. I don't know if impressionable is the right word, but like, you know, kind of lost. Um, he's never really had a good kind of secure sense of self, um, uh, self-esteem kind of things like that. Um, so I understood why when the farm came around he was easily kind of manipulated into that because that's you know what cults do they prey on people who maybe feel a bit lost or a bit vulnerable so i kind of got that which again i thought was a shame because i feel like kevin was really starting to like gel with everyone and i always loved him and betty's friendship um and he was starting to be you know featured more and stuff so i was excited about that um because i did like kevin's character um and then, yeah, with the whole farm thing, and I was like, fucking hell. But then he got out of the farm, and all that stuff. And, you know, I loved him and Fangs together. Um, I loved him and, was it Joaquin? I loved them together. I absolutely loved them. Oh, they should have been, they should have been endgame. Um, but, yeah, him and Moose is kind of, like, fine. Um... But yeah, like, I liked Kevin's character. I wanted to see him more. And I feel like they've just kind of almost, like, reused the whole thing with the farm. Because Kevin was one of the ones that was taken in that whole, like, thing. Swept up in that whole thing. And it's just happened to him again. And I'm just a bit like, is that all Kevin's character is? Like, being easily manipulated? And also, like, the whole... When... Like, Percival, like, kissed him. I was like, the fuck is happening here? Like, and they have, didn't bring it up. Like, in this next episode, they didn't bring it up. But he's supposed to be, like, with the moose. But, like, I don't know. Like, if it, I, I, like obviously, he doesn't, Percival doesn't actually like him. Like, he's just, like, preying on his emotions or whatever. But, like, still. It was fucking weird. And no one said anything about it. Um, so, yeah. Um, who else? So all the like kind of i've said all the main people haven't i pretty much oh cheryl cheryl i loved cheryl and i still do love cheryl but again i feel like they're like kind of ruining characters that i really loved um i feel like cheryl kind of lost you know the kind of essence of cheryl a bit in a way i feel like they kind of make a weird turn with her where she's like she was always so sharp and like smart about things and like She's kind of been making these kind of like weird dumb comments unless I just don't remember them from the earlier seasons But I don't feel like she used to do that like when they were talking about the ghosts and she was like like the who nows or the like I can't remember what she said, but she was just kind of like huh is this making sense to all of you like and Today like uh, Heather gave her this book and she was like oh the said some funny name and she was like the what the who's like I don't know is anyone else noticing that like I don't know maybe it's just supposed to be funny but her whole thing of being a witch for me it kind of just feels like a kind of repeat of Sabrina like this whole thing of like she doesn't know anything about magic and now like Heather's supposed to teach her um I feel like they're just kind of a bit lost with Cheryl didn't really know what to do with her because she had that church 
and then like you know and Britta and then she, you know Britta obviously left and like it's just a weird one just a very weird one um with her character I feel like um so yeah oh my god you know what? we're gonna talk about Alice I don't care about any of the other parents but we're gonna talk about Alice to be fair none of the other parents are in it but <laughs> Alice was oh my god the roller coaster we have had with Alice Alice in the first season I think it, is it the first season or the first two seasons maybe just the first season absolute cow absolute cow as Mike's Mike would say menace of the century like just awful like absolutely terrible and we all knew and she was she was an absolute villain that was her whole shtick she was so annoying um nobody could stand her right and then i think it was yeah season two flipped queen boss bitch she, i loved her i absolutely i did a full 180 on her character and i absolutely loved her um and then her and fp i loved that whole thing i loved their relationship i thought it was so so good so well done um and I feel like she really had a change of heart and came around. And then they've just tanked her again. They've tanked her again. Um, again, she's becoming easily manipulated. It's the same thing with Kevin. Like, she was with the farm and now she's with Percival. And she's just fucking, like, weird. Like, what? Like why is she just, like, gone back to kind of, like, how she was? And, like, this whole character changed. Like, obviously, FP left, which I thought was sad. Um... So, like, they couldn't keep that going. But I don't know why they had to, like, completely just go back on all of her character development. And, like, take her back to, like, this controlling mum who, you know, is so harsh and so annoying. Like, for no reason. Like, I feel like she was so good. And now they've taken her all the way back to being, like, annoying again. I don't know if anyone else, like, feels that same way. Or maybe people still like Alice. Like, I feel like they redeemed her. And now I'm just like, can they, like, redeem her again? Like, I don't really know. Like, they just do that exact same thing again where it's like, oh, no, she's good now and she's, like, on Bayside and all that. Like, I just don't... I don't know. Not to mention the fact that she literally tried to murder Charles in this episode. Like, literally, like, which Charles is back as well. Who really cares? Not me. I never cared for him. <laughs> I really didn't. Um literally like tried to smother him with a fucking pillow um so there was that as well now that we've like talked about all the characters and stuff let's talk about pickings and this whole the big bad of this season right so for me i don't care for him and not even in a way of like he's a good villain because you know you like hate him um and like what he's doing and everything but like that's what makes him a good villain like, obviously, you're not supposed to like the villain. Um, but that's not the vibe I get with him. <laughs> like, that's not how I feel about him. I don't feel like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, of course he's annoying. That's his whole job. Like, no, I just think he's a bad villain. I think the plot is ridiculous. Um, I don't care for the plot at all. I feel like it's, it's Hiram, but with supernatural stuff. Like... That was exactly what Hiram wanted to do. He wanted to take over Riverdale. He wanted to destroy Riverdale. Like, all this same thing. Like, and, like, it's just old. Like, the only thing that's different about it is that there's, like, supernatural stuff and, like, powers and, like, all that kind of thing. And he can read minds and control people's minds. But, like, I just don't, I just don't care for it. I can't lie. I just don't care for it. It's one of those where I'm just, like, waiting for him to just not be in it anymore. Whereas, like, for me, like, the big bads that I really enjoyed was the Black Hood. Loved the Black Hood. Um, I thought the Black Hood was a 10 out of 10. Honestly, kind of vibed with the Gargoyle King as well. That whole thing. I mean, that was a bit, like, weirdly supernatural and stuff. I guess they were kind of, like, starting to introduce it there. Um, but I thought that was good. Even the farm, I was, like... Wasn't a huge fan of, but, you know, it wasn't too bad. I thought Chad Michael Murray was really good in it, like, as the as the big bad. Um, and then the stuff with, like, the private school kids, like, when Jughead goes to that private school and, like, all that. 
kind of stuff like those that whole villain thing was pretty good but this one i just find boring like even Hiram, i enjoyed for a good amount of time until it just became kind of repetitive um but this one i just feel like not only is it kind of a repeat of the farm and a repeat of Hiram, but it's also just he's not that good like i just find him annoying i don't find him like oh my god like fucking hell like the big bad like no speaking of Hiram, i just felt like i don't know if maybe mark i think his name is the guy who played him um who fun fact is also the police officer that pulls rachel over when she's like speeding in monica's porsche i thought that was so funny but anyway officer sagittarius we were so in fucking invested in Hiram, right for seasons for seasons they shoved this man down our throats ew for him to just die off screen i couldn't believe it i was like surely not i was like surely not like are they doing this so that he could come back or something maybe in the future but like or is he like faking his death i don't know maybe that's like kind of you know what's happening here with him but couldn't believe it could not could not believe it um so I just found, I found that whole thing very weird. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if um, Mark, like, maybe decided he didn't want to come back after they'd already filmed, um, like, the season, I think it was, like, the season five finale. Like, obviously, where, like, the bomb goes off and everything. Uh, and they, like, run Hiram out of town. Because to me that didn't feel like the end of Hiram. Maybe after that Mark decided that he didn't want to come back. Um, so they kind of just had to like write him out. But yeah like it all just seemed like very weird to me. That for seasons we like followed him. And then he's just like dead. Like a, a random hitman just takes him out. Like it should have been. I know technically it was like Veronica because she put the hit out on him. But like. It should have been, if it was going to be Veronica, it should have been Veronica. Unless they didn't want to, like, make her character, like, actually, like, physically kill somebody. But I feel like it should have been her or Archie or her mum or, like, somebody we actually, like, know. Or, like, should we, should, uh, we, at least we should have actually seen it. Like, I just felt like that was real anticlimactic, like, for his character to just kind of end there. Um, so that was weird. And yeah, I don't know, Percival, this whole thing with him, I just don't really care for it. I'm literally waiting for season six to be over so I can kind of see what they're going to do with season seven and who they're going to like bring in to be the new like big bad or whatever. Um, but yeah, um, so that's that for villains. So in terms of couples... <sighs> I think I said it in my, I think I said it in my old Riverdale Rambles video. I love Betty and Archie, Reggie and Veronica. And I don't know if Tabitha was in it yet. I don't know. If she, I don't think she was. Was she? Maybe she was. But Tabitha and Jughead. And Tony and Cheryl. For me, that is my end game. And I, and I know it's not going to be. I know it's not going to be, which is so fucking annoying. Um... It's going. Uh, the end game is going to be Veronica and Archie, Bay and Jughead, maybe Tony and Cheryl. I honestly don't even know if they'll do it. Like, which is annoying. Um, but for me, for right from the beginning, I said it right from the beginning. Betty and Archie have way better chemistry than Veronica and Archie ever did. I was never invested in Veronica and Archie. I really never cared for their chemistry or anything if you are a huge Varchi stan then go off like i get it like i i get like how you can be invested in them like and whatever i'm just personally not um i think betty and archie work so much better together um i feel like with betty and jughead again like i i did i was i was on the train with bughead for a long time um i thought they were really cute um in the early seasons and all that kind of stuff but post time jump i feel like they just don't work um they've been apart for so long now that i'm so detached from the idea of them being together i like betty and archie i think they're good together um tabitha and jughead i'm not really fussed to be honest like if they broke up i wouldn't be that annoyed 
um but they're kind of cute i like tabitha i like that she has you know someone um and yeah i loved reggie and veronica i always have ever since like i think it's like season four was it or something like when they first got together um and obviously then they broke up and she went back to archie but i loved them then i loved them after the time jump and i thought it was so just sad how they kind of just ditched that whole thing um oh my god reggie i didn't talk about reggie um but with Reggie, again, I think he's a similar case to Alice and kind of Kevin, where I loved Reggie. I, I've always loved Reggie. And he had that whole, like, you know, kind of persona in high school of being a bit of a dick and, like, all that kind of stuff. And he kind of strayed, obviously, and went to Hiram and then came back. And for me, that was good character development. That was a good storyline for him. I understood, you know, why he went to Hiram and all that stuff. I got that. And I was like, right, this is his right redemption from that. Yeah. And him and Veronica get together and they're this power couple and it's so good. And I was, I was living. Um, and now he's gone to Percival. And it's the exact same thing again. Like how he went to Hiram. He's going to Percival. Like he can't stay on Team Riverdale, which I just think is kind of dumb. Like. He's kind of like the anti-Archie in that, like, with Archie, they use him to constantly fix things as reasons for plots and things like that. And I think they do the same thing with Reggie, but for, like, the evil side. Like, they just kind of make him evil when they need him to be evil and, like, oh, the big bad needs access to, like, the main characters. Oh, it's fine. Reggie's friends with them, so then he'll turn on them, like, for why. Like, yeah, Hiram, I totally got it, but now now that he's more developed now that he's had this relationship with veronica like that just seemed so meh like that just seems so early seasons for him to just like do a 180 on them um so yeah um but yeah i loved i loved reggie and veronica i did i loved them together um and yeah i don't know i feel like maybe veronica just needs some like time on her own now um or like honestly i feel like i've seen enough straight relationships where are the gays like i just like okay like for me um like being bi i love seeing the representation on tv like emily from pretty little liars that was like oh my god <laughs> like i just was like no way and i feel like riverdale Obviously they started, Kevin has been, you know, in relationships from the start and that was amazing. But then to see like Cheryl and Tony, like, I loved them. I loved them. And for them to just ruin them after the time jump for no reason, they haven't even interacted in like so many episodes, like episode, like I couldn't even tell you when was the last time they had a conversation. Like, so I don't know how they're going to get them back for them to be endgame because I really want them to be. But I just don't really see how it's going to work. Um, and yeah, I loved them together and I loved that couple. And I feel like it's lacking now. You know, there's like Kevin and Moose, kind of. Like, they're kind of a thing. So that's kind of sweet. But like, Betty and Archie, Reggie and Veronica. Like, I mean, Cheryl has this Heather girl, but they're not really together. Like... And I don't really like Heather. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like her. Like, I... And I, you know who I do like? I like this new Agent Drake lady. And honestly, if Betty and Archie are going to break up, I want Betty and this Drake lady. Or maybe Veronica and this Drake lady. Like something like that. I want something different. I want... I don't want everyone just going back to who they were with before. I want to see, like, people with new people. Like, I... I it's just they're just passing around the same people give me cheryl and tony again or i don't know like even just someone else tabitha and bay i don't know like just swap the pairings around because they're just like kind of boring now like uh, like i do i like betty and archie and i would be more than happy for them to be end game um but like for Veronica to have someone new instead of just going straight back to Archie again, um, you know, 
for Cheryl to have like a proper relationship or for her and Tony to get back together like I don't know does anyone else feel the same way like I feel like Riverdale used to be really good with the couples like and they're not anymore they've kind of lost their way a bit with them um and I feel like they kind of found their footing again when they had Reggie and Veronica and Betty and Archie and they're ruining them again <laughs> yeah either like different pairings between the characters we already have or new love interests um because this Heather girl like I get that they obviously were like liked each other when they were younger but I just don't really see that now like I feel like they don't have that kind of chemistry now um and maybe Heather's a bit dodgy I don't really know I haven't made my mind up about her yet so based on this episode I think because uh, like Jughead when he was in the bunker at the end was hearing like all kinds of voices and someone mentioned something about Rivervale so I don't know if they're gonna do like full-on multiverse of madness shit and bring like the characters from Rivervale into Riverdale um or something like that like I don't really know how they're gonna go about it um like maybe in order to defeat Percival they need the versions of them from Rivervale <laughs> or something I don't really know but I think Archie's dead in Rivervale I think I don't know it was weird Rivervale was a weird time um but yeah so I feel like maybe that's gonna happen um I feel like for the plot maybe Tony and Fangs will lose baby Anthony to Kevin and I don't really know what Percival's gonna do with him but he's freaky isn't he um like he wants baby Anthony out of the way <laughs> which I feel like is weird that he's such a symbol but we literally never actually physically see him um so yeah like, I feel like maybe it'll be, like, a full-on, like, war thing. Like, the serpents. Obviously, Betty, Archie, Veronica, all of them. And then maybe them from Rivervale, like, all teaming up against Percival or something. Um, also, Tabitha's stopped time travelling. That was literally, like, one episode. And now she just didn't do it anymore, apparently. Um, yeah. I don't really know like where it's going and like for season seven I have no idea I want to know people's thoughts I want to know what people are like expecting to happen what you want to happen um maybe I'll do like a video of like my ideal like season seven like my ideal finale for Riverdale or something like that could be kind of fun we'll see I'm like excited to see season seven um and to kind of know like how all these characters are going to end up thanks for watching this video um that is it for today um like i said i will make a video when the next ones come out i know i say that every time and then i disappear for a year but this time i'm committed um and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye